Welcome to EF Pod English. Brought to you by EF Education First and English Town. Learn anytime, anywhere. Pod English Pre Intermediate 46 Relationships. Why have you been pressuring me so much lately about moving in? I'm not ready. I'm not ready for this commitment yet. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about relationships. We're going to learn some useful expressions we often use when we talk about our relationships. Like, I feel pressured. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And, you mean the world to me. We are also going to learn some two-part verbs. We call these phrasal verbs. You'll learn how to use these phrasal verbs. Move in, break up, and slow down. Well, I would think, you know, we would save some money on the rent, you know, it's really, really expensive here. And, you know, I, I really, I really like you. In fact, you know, you mean the world to me. George and Fiona are in a relationship. George loves Fiona very much, but Fiona is worried. She thinks the relationship is going too fast. Let's watch. I ordered a pizza upstairs. What are you doing here? I'm thinking. What's the matter? Lots of things. I was thinking about what you said the other day, about wanting to move in together. <sighs> So now I know why you've been so miserable lately. You think it's too soon, right? Yes, it's, it's far too soon. I mean, sometimes I don't even know where this relationship is going. Uh, we've been over this so many times. Last weekend everything's fine, and now this weekend everything's not fine. You, you want to break up with me? No, I'm not saying that at all. It's just... Sometimes I feel pressured. We've only been together for four months. What are you going to say next? You want to get married? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean to. It's just that I'm, I'm really scared of losing you and, and you're like the best thing that ever came into my life. Can we just forget that I said that? I suppose so. I just think we should slow down a bit. Okay. So is there anything else on your mind? Yes, one last thing. I think we should be more open with each other from now on. Yeah, I, I think that shouldn't be a problem. So is everything sorted now? Yes, I feel much better. I thought you were going to be furious at me. Oh, come on. You mean the world to me. Come on, the pizza's getting cold. But it's only been one month that we've been together. What, what are you going to want to do next? Get married? No. After two months? No. More like after three months. But can we maybe start with getting a goldfish? I don't know. This is just all too much for me. I think we really need to you know, take a step back and slow down a little bit. Well, are you breaking How about up we with start me? by going... <laughs> Let's look at some of those expressions George and Fiona used to talk about their relationship. Fiona said, I feel pressured. Pressure is like pushing, like when you push open a door. You can feel emotional pressure if your partner wants to marry too quickly, for example. I feel pressured. And George said, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to is an apology. It says, I did something, but I didn't want to. It was an accident. I didn't mean to. At the end of the movie, George says to Fiona, you mean the world to me. This is the same as, I love you very much. You mean the world to me. So we know George loves Fiona very much, but there is a problem. Fiona is not very happy. 
I was thinking about what you said the other day about wanting to move in together. George wants to move in with Fiona. When a couple decide to move in together, that means they decide to live together. George wants to move in with Fiona. But Fiona is not ready to move in with George. Oh dear, can you remember what George says to Fiona? You, you want to break up with me? That's right. He asks, do you want to break up with me? When George asks about breaking up, he is really asking, do you want to end this relationship? But Fiona doesn't want to break up with him. She says, I just think we should slow down a bit. I think we should slow down a bit. Fiona is using a phrasal verb, slow down. In a relationship, this expression means you feel it is getting too serious. I think we should slow down a bit. Now let's give these exercises a try. Um, I don't know, could, could we just slow down a little bit? I mean, I, I do like you, but can we just maybe go on a date instead of talking about moving in? That'd make me feel a lot better. Are you breaking up with me? Um, not right now, but if you keep up this behavior, then that might come. Fill in the blank. What are the missing words? I love you so much. You mean the world to me. Try and do this one. I want to see you every morning and every night. Let's move in together. And can you think of a phrasal verb which would fit here? That famous Hollywood couple has been dating for years. But I heard they just broke up. Try this one. This relationship is too serious. Let's not rush. Let's just slow down. Can you remember an expression which could go in here? I really apologize. It was a mistake. I didn't mean to. Sorry. What's next? Like marriage? No, I was thinking more like a cat or something. So, um, so what do you, what do you feel like? You what? don't, you don't like me anymore? No, I mean, I like you, but like I don't know, we need to sl maybe slow down a little bit. You're scaring me with all these, you know, drastic moves about moving in together and I don't know, it's scaring me. Good work. Well, today we learned some useful things to say when we talk about our relationships. We learned some useful phrasal verbs like move in, break up, and slow down. We also learned some expressions. I feel pressured. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. And you mean the world to me. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Play it again for more practice. See you next time. Mm, scary, huh? So, we're still together? Or you're not breaking up with me, are you? I mean, I guess. You stop talking about moving in all the time. Great! That makes me feel so much better. Ah, let's go for pizza.